Okay, so I've wanted to talk about this for a long time because over the years, I've had a few telling discussions with this elderly man. Uh, it has been, the subject of, the, of these discussions has been, you know, religion in general. He is a devout Christian for whatever reason, but here's what, what really kind of caught me off guard. And I've had these types of discussions with other people as well that are younger, and their answers pretty much are the same. <clears throat> so their, um, their conclusion is, you know, for thousands of years, the majority of people have believed in whatever religion, in whatever God, etc., etc., in a creator, whatever. So therefore, because the majority has believed this generation after generation for thousands of years, then that means that there is some sort of intrinsic truth to the matter, right? Which means that by default, there is a God, there is something out there that cares about us, a creator, whatever you want to call it. Right? So I was struck and puzzled and stupefied, not because of the religious nonsense. What struck me the most is that their argument was, if the majority has agreed upon this, if a majority believes this, then that means that it is correct. Because, of course, there's no way so many people can be wrong. There's no, there's no way that a majority can arrive at a terrible decision. Ergo, and I would argue this, therefore, there is no way a majority of people can be this dumb, this stupid, and this misled. Okay? This is, this is their mindset, and I think that this is the, the mindset of most people. And this is the subject of this video. To most people, the majority cannot be wrong. The majority cannot do no wrong. If a majority has believed this, or, or has proclaimed this, then it must be true by default. And, you know, I wanted to be harsh. I wanted to give a harsh reply to these people, but I saw in their eyes that there was no hesitation whatsoever. They actually believed this. You know, with the fervor of children, in a way they were naive, innocent. And I just pulled back because it wasn't worth it, right? So folks, the reason for this video is to tell you that the majority, without a doubt, this has been proven with sufficient evidence throughout history. Folks, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but the majority is always wrong. The majority is always wrong, and you only have to skim through history to know this. Like, this is not some complex, overly sophisticated, uh, you know, idea. Not at all. Not at all. You only have to look at the results, okay? And I wanted to tell this elderly man, listen, dude, if the majority of people throughout the ages have believed in a certain religious, in a certain religious ideology, or in a certain type of God, or whatever, then that shows that the majority of people are naive, they're gullible, they're credulous, right? Most of the time, they don't think for themselves, they're mindless, they believe anything anybody tells them, if it, you know, tickles them just right, right? The majority is always wrong. Whatever the majority agrees upon, 
you should choose the opposite. You should go in the opposite direction. Okay? This is pure fact. This is not, you know, questionable. Right? This is pure fact. There is sufficient evidence. Right? And yet again, I have to repeat myself. The, re the results are plain to see. For thousands of years, people have believed in a god, in a religious creed, and what are the results? What are what are the results? Right? Any person which stands for the truth will tell you that these beliefs have produced a lot of hardship, a lot of anguish, a lot of stupidity, a lot of primitive and savage and brutal, uh, you know, carnage. Right? Slavery, whatever you want to call it. So for the most part, the beliefs of the majority, whatever they may be, have produced nothing but negative aspects, negative results. And you can only see, look outside your window and see the effects of the beliefs of the majority. You see, this is why we're doomed. This is why we've been doomed from the beginning and mankind will be flushed down the toilet because of these beliefs harbored by the majority. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I couldn't believe that these people who supposedly, you know, they've gone through life and they have life experience and they have uh, a lot of years on their backs and they still, you know, they still defend this nonsense, you know, a, a majority of people throughout the ages have believed this, therefore they cannot be wrong, because there's no way that so many people can be wrong, okay? So I'm here to tell you, this implies that he believes that a majority of people cannot be comprised of fucking dumber than a sack of bricks morons, right? He believes that so many people cannot be stupid, and I'm here to tell you that, yes, a majority of people can be comprised of nothing but stupid people, okay? There are a lot of dumb motherfuckers floating around this joint, okay? It's obvious, you know, stop denying it, right? And I, and I think that why most people like to defend this is because... Otherwise, they would have to admit admit that they are stupid as well for, for believing this. If the majority is wrong, then that means that they are wrong by default as well. That, that means that their belief system is a, is a bunch of hooey, right? Which, of course, demonstrates that they are dumb as well. I mean, people are just dumb. They're, they're naive, they're innocent, they're credulous, they're gullible. They believe anything. It's 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 incredible, right? The majority cannot be wrong because there's just too many of them. So how can so many people be be stupid and wrong? Well, it just happens. It it, it is just as such, right? I can't even. I can't even believe. That this is the mindset that so many people have. The majority can never be wrong because there is no way that so many people can be, you know, moronic and idiotic. Well, it is it is so. I'm here to tell you, it is so. It is a fact. I have seen it time and time and time again, without a shadow of a doubt. The majority of people are a bunch of morons, they believe anything, and they are always wrong. The decisions and the choices they make are always the wrong ones. Why? Because they're fucking stupid, okay? They're stupid, and they should not be copied, they should not be held in high regard, alright? They are not heroes. They are not heroes because they worship you know the hive mind the hive mind never questions anything the hive mind accepts anything 
uh, unconditionally if it tickles them just right. And that is the main issue, right? <clears throat> so if you are one of these people that believes that, you see, uh, the majority of people, you know, they are intrinsically good and they make intrinsically good decisions, I'm here to tell you, whether you are young or old, I'm here to tell you that this is false. It's false. The majority is always wrong. The results are plain to see. Right? You don't even have to inspect or examine history. All you have to do is look outside your window. You know, what has been happening for the last three years, right, with all of the lockdowns and all of the masks, right? You think actually intelligent human beings would, would um, accept such a thing? No. This was allowed by a majority of dum-dums, okay? I mean, I mean, uh, the what... Uh, the reason that I am so fired up about this is because the older man that tell that told me this, he told it in such a way that I felt sad for him. He, like he said it with the gentleness of a child, you know, like a child who believes in angels or in Santa Claus. This was a a, a man in his seventies, and he said, "Well." You see, there has to be some truth into this because the majority of people have believed in this for, for ages, generation after generation. I just and I just looked at him and I just felt so sorry for him. I wanted to slap him silly. I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to beat him up. I, what are you, what are you out of your mind, bro? Right? How can you be so simple-minded? Don't be simple-minded, right? The majority cannot be wrong because they all believed in this. So therefore, there is no way that so many people can be fucking terribly wrong. What I'm here to tell you that they can be wrong. Okay? People are dumb, folks. People are dumb. Right? From birth. And they never change. The majority is always wrong. Period. And any type of thinker, any type of philosopher has always said this. Never go with the masses, with the multitudes, the riffraff, the hoi polloi. They are not to be trusted. When people get together in groups, something heinous happens. The greatest tragedy of all. When people get together, that divine spark of humanity disappears, dies, and the animal, <coughs> the beast, emerges. All right? That's what happens. So that is why the majority is always wrong. Right? But that's about it. Hopefully I made a point. Anyway, if you want to support your boy, I got a few books on Amazon. The links will be down below. Thanks for watching. And, uh... Never trust the majority. See ya!